Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and here we are again with a UI flow for beginners tutorial. In this one it's not really a particularly a beginners topic but it's something that we've covered in other videos using Python, Arduino etc which is serial communication. We've covered RS-232 and regular serial communication over USB. But it's actually possible in UIFlow to set up serial communication. Whether we're communicating between two devices over a wire, whether we're communicating with a device using a USB to serial converter, or even if we're using an M5 stack device to communicate over serial with some other kind of device. This serial communication protocol that we're going to be talking about is called UART. So what exactly is UART? UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It's one form of serial communication which is commonly used nowadays. The benefit of UART is that we can receive and transmit messages simultaneously. Unlike older protocols like RS-232 when we had to wait for the communication to finish before we can send the message back. All UART devices contain a chip which takes care of these serial communications. All of M5 Stacks products use the same Silicon Labs USB to serial converter chips. When we talk about serial communication, we mean that each byte of data is transmitted one by one over the wire. Usually a transmission starts with a start bit to let the device know that a message is coming and then the bits are received one by one, followed by a stop bit to let the receiving device know when a character or a byte has finished. UART devices generally use only two or three wires, depending on whether you want to receive and transmit. We have the ground wire, receiver known as RX, and transmitter known as TX, and that's all we need for this serial communication. So how do we know which pin is the receive and transmit pin? On the M5 stack core, it's clearly labeled here, R0 for receive 0 and T0 and also R2 and T2. All of these are receive and transmit pins. But in general, the way that ESP32 has been designed, most pins which have not already been assigned a specific function can be repurposed to be a receive or transmit pin. Let's have a look at the stick C. On the growth port of the stick C, we can see that the pins are G32 and G33. This means that they're GPIO pins and are general purpose. So we can use pin 33 for transmit and pin 32 for receive. And all we need to do is connect two stick C's up by a growth cable for now. To start off with a simple test of UART communication, we'll connect two stick C's via a growth cable and then connect them both up by USB. Then once we're in UI flow, we'll go into advanced, then find the UART blocks. Here we can have a quick example if you click on this button here. So first we need to initialize the UART communication. So we set UART1 and then the pins of the growth port on the device are 33 and 32. And then we have to select the board rate. What is board rate? It's essentially the speed at which we're sending the data. Board is just a fancy way of saying bit rate. I will choose 115200 as that's a standard board rate that pretty much all of the M5 stack devices can use. Next, we'll set up a loop for continuous communication. An if condition. So 
So here we can see this block here, if you aren't remain cache, basically means if there's any data coming across on the UART serial, then we'll create a label to show that data. Since the screen of the M5CXC is a little bit thin, we'll go back into the UI and make sure we set the screen to rotate 90 degrees. So to do that, I just simply select one and that needs to be in the setup, sorry. Okay, and now we'll get the label to show whatever is coming on the UART. To make sure that gets read to the label, we also need to add the UART read all to the label. But right now we haven't sent anything over the UART from either device. So we'll also need to add a line UART write. So we can send a number, write a line of text, a lot of text, raw data, etc. Uh, we'll use a classic hello world example. And now all we need to do is to flash that to both devices. Dixie and make sure that we change the TX and RX pins. Once we run that, we'll see it running, but with some slightly strange behavior. We see some extra characters other than the hello world. This is because the data is transferred as a byte literal. So all we need to do is to use the decode block. So all we need to do is to add the decode block in the mix. And voila, we should get proper hello world on our screen. Have a simple program for communicating with the M5 Atom GPS kit. I have an M5 Atom light connected to the M5 Atom GPS kit and a USB to serial converter connected to the growth port of the M5 Atom light. You can see I've set both serial communications here. UART1 is receiving data from the GPS sensor inside the GPS kit and sending it to the transmit and receive pins of the M5 Atom light with the board rate of 9600, which is recommended by the manufacturer. Then I've set up the second serial to transmit that data over the pins of the growth port with a standard board rate of 115200. To make it easier to see if data is being transmitted, I've made sure that the light blinks whenever serial data is being passed over the line. Then we can see that if any UR data is being sent, I set a variable to receive that data and decode it and read it all and then write it to the second serial. With that USB to serial converter connected to the growth port, I can open up a terminal and then connect to it to see the GPS data being transmitted. If you'd like to learn more about this GPS data, take a look at our last video. If you're curious and maybe have some old devices laying around, it's possible that they might have a UART. On YouTube, there's plenty of videos talking about how to find a UART on devices. And with a simple Python script like this, you can get hacking away. And that's about all we have time for this week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.